Hey guys, as promised from last week's video when I gave you a tour of my boat, uh, this week I'm going to talk about how you protect your investment. I mean, let's face it, both boats are very expensive uh, nowadays. New boats, used boats, and it's nothing that makes you have more pride than having a good, clean boat. Especially when you pull up and another boat, boater notices, man, you got your boat's looking good. It just makes you feel good. Plus, it protects your investment. And let's face it, with the price of boats these days, when you go to sell yours or trade up, uh, you want to get the most you can out of your existing boat. So let me show you some tips that I've used over the years and how I keep my boat clean on a regular basis. So stay tuned. Hello, my name is Barry. This is Adventures and Stuff. It's all about our traveling adventures, outdoor fun, boating, boat maintenance, fishing, working on things, and just living life. I hope you'll join me. Please subscribe if you like this type of content. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And hit the notification bell to be notified of new content. So come join me. Just living life. Hey, when you start cleaning your boat you need a good boat bucket and all I did was buy a five gallon bucket I think I might have got this one from Walmart just because I like the color it kind of matches my whole color but as you can see I got a bu good bucket and I also got this from Surehold and I'll mention several companies none of which I'm sponsored by or this video is sponsored by but it gives you a great way to keep dirty water you know off your boat brush I also have two different brushes. You know, this is my deck brush, a little smaller, stiffer bristles. And this is the all around, all purpose brush I use. It's very soft. I use it on everything and uh, it doesn't scratch or anything. It's very soft, gets things very clean. And then also, I have a telescoping pole from Surehold. Now, if you're prone to dropping this in the water, it will sink, but they do sir, sell a little life jacket thing. So here are all my attachments, the deck brush, I also have a broom, a boat hook, a gaff, and that's the all-purpose brush. And here's the telescoping pole. But it will actually telescope out um, several feet longer than this, probably about three more feet longer, so you can reach the sides outside of your boat or whatever, but it's a great tool. So now I'm going to, you can see they have little holders that you can measure your soap in. So I'll put a little soap in there, suds it up. And another thing I use, I have a regular garden hose coming off a uh, water spigot on my dock. But I have one of these retract retractable hoses or expandable hoses that I use uh, when cleaning the boat because it doesn't scratch up the boat at all. I just keep it on board all the time, stroke away because it doesn't take up very much room and I use it for lots of things. I use it to flush my motors if I'm in the salt water. Um, I can actually hook it up to my fresh water tank and if I don't have access to fresh water but I want to wash the salt off my boat if I'm in salt water, I can do that as well and I'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. But hang on, I'm gonna get some soap in the boat bucket and uh, start washing. If you stick around to the end of the video, I have some great trailer tips. But also make sure you take time now to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We have a lot of great videos upcoming. Hit the like button if this interests you, this particular video. Please share and make any comments. I love to get your comments and feedback so I know how to prepare future videos for you. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, so right now it's time to start washing. So let's get it going. Yeah, always remember, uh, wash small sections of your boat, especially if you got any sunlight out, and rinse often because you don't want the soap to dry on there. Yeah, you want to wash everything on your boat. We'll scrub the vinyl, everything, all parts of your boat. It's okay. Just let it give it all a good cleaning.
Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but you can see there's some black streaks, and that's a common problem a lot of boaters have. Now, I have this spray, and I'll show you it in just a moment, but I'm going to spray it on there and turn it on. Just brush a little bit and let it sit for a second. I can let it sit very long, and if you can see the black streak, see it's gone. And like I told you last week, my boat has not been used in several weeks, so it's kind of dirty. But you can look and see what that did. I took those black streaks away. Here's another one. Get a little bit on your rack, and you can just kind of keep wiping them off. If not, that was a little stubborn. Just spray a little teeny bit on there, let it sit for a second, and bam, it's gone. But anyhow, so you can see what that'll do. It'll clean anything. Next, it's time to swab the deck. So I take the Starbright uh, deck cleaner, sprinkle a little bit around the floor. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot. I change the brush over now to the hard bristle deck brush and just start scrubbing the uh, non-skid floor surface. And it has a, mine has a diamond pattern on it. Usually they do. So sometimes you have to scrub in the direction of the pattern if you got really ground in stuff in there but it really cleans nicely makes it look nice and clean and then you can come back with a sealant on top of that if you like and uh, for even more protection i'll tell you a little bit about that in just a moment and just come back and uh, wash it off really good and you might even be able to see dirt just sliding back and going out the drains in the back of the boat so after I'm done washing everything, now I take, I have a little small gas powered blower, uh, but I, this is very helpful just to blow a lot of the water off the surfaces. And uh, just if you use a gas powered one like mine, it's probably a good idea to use some earplugs. It is a little loud, but I blow all the water off as you can see. It just saves me a lot of time. And, uh, and then I come back with the next step in just a moment. Okay, this is going to be a blast from the past. My next step, using a chamois, if you remember those. See, this is a chamois. I'm sure you've heard of these before, but they work great. Let's see, I don't know if you can see all the water, but this the thing. I blow the water off to get rid of a lot of it with the blower. And then come back with this. And you can kind of see, because you don't want to leave water spots. And this picks up whatever. You can see the water there, maybe? Picks up whatever. Lower leaves behind. Great product as well. Then you take the shimmy, just wring the water out of it, and it's ready to go again. Okay, this is the shimmy. That I was using to dry the boat off with. I also got it from Marine 31. I'm sure you can get it from other places. They've been around for a long time. I kind of forgot about them. But they work great when I blow all the excess water off with the blower. Then I come around and this is soaks it right up and leaves a spot free, clean boat, no water spots. Now I'm a fan of Surehold products. This is a product that uh, I bought back when I first bought the boat. I did a lot, a lot of research on these. But um, this is a, a dual action polisher. And it actually, instead of just spins around in a circle, it actually, you know, moves around so you don't get swirl marks. Now, if you're an expert, know how to, uh, you know, detail cars and boats and have ever used one of those and know how to use it because you can't let it sit in one place or put swirl marks this will not do that this is kind of foolproof and that's why i bought it uh, but it comes with you know a velcro pad and then you can buy all kind of different pads but this is what i use to put my wax on so i wax like little two foot squares 
I pull that off, come back and put one of these little red bonnets on and polish it right up. And I'll show you the wax I use. This is a brush that you can use to put wax on your non-skid surfaces. And believe it or not, that's okay to do that. And actually it'll help keep the dirt and grime and everything out of those. But this is a great product. And uh, if you look online, uh, sometimes sure hole runs sales and uh, maybe you pick up this product for a great deal. A couple other things, you know, one thing you want to get, you want to get you a lot of uh, microfiber cloths. I buy big packs of them on Amazon. Uh, they're not real expensive. And plus you can re reuse them. I probably wash mine maybe five or six times for end up throwing them away and cleaning them. So you want to get you some of these. The next product is this, it's called uh, a sure hole clean and shine. It's SMC, Serious Multi-Purpose Cleaner. And that's what I clean those black streaks off with. And this stuff is great for almost anything. It does other stuff around your home, uh, but it cleans black streaks. Sometimes people get on the boat and they have the wrong kind of shoes and uh, they'll put marks on the boat and it just takes them right off. You know, next is Sure Hole Serious Shine. Now this is a product that like when you just want to do a touch up and shine something, I use it on my motors a lot. You just spray a little bit on and wipe it off and it's awesome. Makes a great shine, lasts for a while. Now this is some good stuff right here. I do this on my entire boat. Uh, Colonite uh, 925 uh, wax. It's a liquid wax. It's easy to put on. It's easy to come off when I use that oscillating uh, dual action polisher by Sure Hole. And I do the whole exterior of my boat with that and all the interior, anything with fiberglass, I put that on there, it's great stuff. The best non-skid deck cleaner I found is a Starbright uh, non-skid deck cleaner. I mentioned that, you saw me uh, using my brush. I have also have from Sure Hole. It works well, it's, I mean, it's the best product I've seen. You clean it, keeps it nice and thick. And then there's another product, um, from Marine 31, I've discovered them. They have a lot of good products. And this is something that's called non-skid skid clear sealant. Once I clean it with the Star Bright, then I spray that on there and rub it around and just let it dry. And it keeps, it makes it a whole lot easier to keep the uh, non-skid floor surface clean. Here's something I just kind of got and used it a little bit. Just pour the Star Bright all-purpose cleaner if you're just doing touch-ups and stuff. Uh, you have stern to bow cleaner. It's a waterless wash and wax. I've tried that a little bit. I don't, I'll, the verdict's still out on that. I'm not sure how well I like it. But two products I really like from Marine 31 is the mildew remover. You know, one of the worst problems you have on a boat is getting mildew on your vinyl. It's going to happen no matter what you do to it. This is the best cleaner that I've found to get it off. You spray it on there, you let it sit for three minutes, and you squirt it off really good with the water hose, and uh, and then dry it. And then, you know, right after that, put mildew guard on it. This product right here will actually inhibit mildew growth, and I've used a lot of that, not only on this boat. This boat has a fair amount of vinyl, but my pontoon, you know, this, that's nothing but a floating couch. It has vinyl everywhere, so I use it a lot for that, and it works very well. I mentioned earlier on when I first started washing the boat, you know, one thing you want to get is you some very good biodegradable boat wash, boat soap, and, uh, you know, just wash your boat every so often. If you do it like every week or two weeks, if I'm in salt water and go out, you know, on the coast, I'll come back in and, you know, wash my boat after every use in salt water and uh, just make sure I get all the salt on. But those are the main products I use to clean my boat. They all work very well and um, I highly recommend all of them. Like I said, uh, the Stern to Bow Waterless Wash, I just bought that <laughs> to try it out. And Marine 31, they will send you some coupons from time to time. You can get pretty good deals on that. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. These are just my own personal opinions. Okay, here she is. Very quick cleaning job. Gives you an idea. Um, it didn't take very long. You clean your boat fairly fast. 
if you just keep up with it. I'm going to get too far ahead of you, dirty wise. Yeah, the remnants of Ida just blew by. We had a little burst of a thunderstorm and a heavy downpour. But you can see, you know, this wax on the side of the boat was done back in March and how well it's still beating up just from that recent rain. That'll just give you an idea how good that colonite wax is. Now, one thing you have to remember when you put wax on your fiberglass boat, like the sides and stuff, the wax is gonna last a lot longer there both on the outside on the hull and the inside below the gunnels that wax is going to last you know you know almost a year where you need to reapply a couple times during the summer especially if you're in a you know a climate with a lot of sunshine like what we are here in south carolina you're going to want to reapply the wax to the top of the gunnel uh, probably two or three times during the year because you know people slide on that you might walk around the gunnels but they're exposed to the sun a lot more, so make sure you, you know, recoat those with a good coat of wax several times during the summer, and your boat will stick. But keep looking brand new. Hey guys, don't forget about your boat trailer either. I mean, that's an, an investment also. Here are a couple tips to help you keep your boat trailer lasting for a long time. Okay, guys, as promised, I'm out here with my trailer, and I wanted to show you just a couple tips that you can use uh, to help maintain your trailer uh, especially if you use uh, your boat sometimes in salt water just a couple little things and also a way to protect your tires the best thing I found to do is before I even go I take a product called salt away or salt mix off it in a, five, a two gallon sprayer like this and I just walk around and spray my whole trailer with it and let it dry on there and it helps protect it. I'll give you an example. I'm just walk around, <clears throat> put a little coating of spray over the entire trailer. joints bolts everything even I spray the inside of the back of the rims the brakes everything and then I let it dry and then when I go to put it in the water that repels the salt water and then when I get it out of the water I walk around with the two gallon sprayer with the same stuff and I spray the trailer again unless I'm taking it home there I can use fresh water to rinse it but it's a great solution if you don't have fresh water where you're at to uh, rinse your boat trailer. This is a quart size of salt off. It also comes with an applicator you can hook to the water hose. You can use it to flush your engines or spray your boat. Hopefully you can see this. <clears throat> then the tires, they're gonna, they're affected by UV rays from the sun, just like everything else. If you let them sit out in a sunny area, eventually they're gonna dry rot. And the sidewalls will dry rot. You don't want that because if first time you go on a trip and you're riding down the highway and all of a sudden you had a flat tire. It's not a fun thing to do. So, you can do all types of things. What I do, instead of, you can buy uh, tire covers. I go the cheap route. I just get a 33 gallon garbage bag, use a pair of scissors, cut it up about halfway up the back to go over the axle. Now just flip it over the tire or so and pull it down. Voila! A very inexpensive way to cover your tires. Here you can see I do these two tires and these two over here the same way. And you can see underneath how they're slit to go over the axles. Here are some other videos showing up on the screen that you might be interested in. Please click on those and take a look at, at those as well. And um, I have a lot more videos coming up very shortly. Some fishing videos. Uh, I'll go on a trip down on the coast and we'll do some cruising, maybe a little fishing there. I've got a fishing trip scheduled on the Gulf of Mexico in early November. And then I'll be doing lots of fishing trips on Lake Murray uh, in the meantime. So please keep joining us and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware every time I post a video. Y'all take care. Hope to see you on the water soon. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe.